The producer is as messed up as he has been always. Mm -hmm. The price of green coffee over the last few years has plummeted at an alarming rate, ushering in a new era of affordable, cheap convenience for consumers the world over, at the severe detriment, however, to coffee producers in their respective origins. The specialty coffee industry is now at a blind crossroads in relation as to how best it tackles the situation. Whilst hosting the producer crossover event during the World of Coffee 2019 with this side up, we took the chance to talk one-to-one -one with some of the industry's leading authorities on the matter. The reality that we face in the coffee industry is that we have generated this whole industry of connoisseurship and appreciation of quality and craft and fancy and all of this, but at the same time, we haven't allowed our partners at Origin to uh, appreciate the the value of what they're selling at the same rates that we're enjoying on the side so I very much see it's uh, sure it's a price crisis because on the international commodity market the price is what it is um, but it's also our reality that this is how we're paying for our green coffee for the very raw material that we need to be an industry um, we're, 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 we're playing into this uh, pricing scheme that's not, not, not equitable, let's say. Uh, I, I don't know if the market is changing, the demands are certainly the same, but at least there are some interesting questions arising, like today, you know, are the prices sustainable and what are we really doing about it? But I think the answer is nobody's doing anything. And uh, people, of course, are worried because they are kind. I think they are sincerely worried, but then they are not ready to do anything about it because the market reality is very different. Even if we are specialty, we are also complicit in the price crisis. I think it's a, it was a moment of self-awareness that we don't really have. I think a lot of us in specialty think, I pay very high prices, I have nothing to do with the New York Sea price, uh, the price crisis is not me, it's others. And I think the bombshell was when we said, well, maybe not all coffee farmers should stay in coffee. And I think that that was also a stark sort of uh, uh, acknowledgement that you know, specialty is not necessarily a way out of poverty. The producer is as messed up as he has been always. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, if, I, if I look at Ethiopia, one, one guy from the ministry told me, Eliana, look at Yirga Chefe. It's one of the most famous coffees. It was the coffee, actually, he told me that three years ago. The most expensive coffee sold in the country was Yirga Chefe three years ago. And he told me, look, the people are still the same. And it's true, nothing has changed for the people locally, you know. What's the fault? Uh, what's the reason? I don't know. We are contributing to the crisis. We are creating a lot, a lot of value, but it, it gets stuck in the cup, in that beautiful latte art. We still go to origin with a mindset that, you know, I'm gonna tell my producer what to do, what kind of cup score I need, what kind of processing I need, creating all this work and all this expectation that specialty will, will sell itself. And in reality, I think sometimes, you know, producing specialty, as uh, Martin from Coffee Circle suggested, it's a way into poverty if we don't have the information. Well, the fact is we, we have too much production in the coffee world right now, and that's going to stay there for some time because it's just not immediately changeable. So we need to figure out ways to be independent from the sea market price when we're talking about commercial coffees and not about specialty coffee. So um, it's inevitable that there's right now a lot more coffee in the market than there is actually demand. And we have seen five year highs in Brazil. Uh, we have like an increase from 10 to 40 million bags in Colombia. And we're talking about some of the larger producers. So it's no wonder that there's too much coffee and the ultimate answer of the market is that prices go down. And it's not that the market is broken as we hear. No, it, unfortunately, for some people who grow commercial coffee, it's just working fine. Um, so we need to look 
into that reality and find ways to differentiate from the commercial coffee. And I think specialty coffee is just the way how to do it. And most of us here are not dependent from the sea market price. So for me, it was yeah, also sometimes I'm a bit wondering why everybody's talking about the crisis because specialty coffee in itself is not always dependent on it. It's evident that there's an ongoing question over how to deliver fair compensation to the producers at origin. So where does this problem leave us in the fight to make a change, a difference, a revolution even? In the next episode, we highlight some of the important, diverse and sometimes fiery discussions held during the producer crossover and how they impacted the views of those who took part. You are a specialty copy player. We are uh, farmers. I already listened about this one, uh, about transparency, about certification, about sustainability for a long time. But they never ask what we really need. They just ask what they really want.